EDP445 actually apologizes. No, this isn't a drill. After three whole years after his original incident where he was trying to pick up a cupcake from who he thought was a 13 year old girl, he has actually apologized here. Now, before we talk about this, I just released a brand new Discord server. For the OGs of the channel, you'll know I used to have one, and I can't lie, bro, I kind of miss talking to all you guys. We have voice channels, text chats, and so many ways you can talk and also interact with me personally because I'll be on there quite a bit. So please, you don't even even have to join the server all i ask is that you just click the link in the description to check out what's in there because it's so much fun in there again link in the description now anyways back to the video so the last time we talked about this guy he had a youtube channel called the big cheese which was about a month ago and it had a few thousand subscribers i personally thought and a lot of you would have thought as well that this channel would have been taken down because you know it's edp 445 and he got banned a few years ago however over a month later edp has just been uploading videos like it's nothing and youtube have done absolutely nothing about it. It's even gotten so bad that EDP445 himself has gotten comfortable to the point where he's named his channel EDP445 again because he's that confident that it won't get taken down. I mean, bro, I just gotta say, like, where the hell are YouTube? God damn, you guys are sleeping over here on this guy. We got a confirmed nonce just making YouTube channels like it's nothing. I mean, seriously, when are we gonna take this guy down again? He can't just be posting videos like it's nothing. Anyways, EDP made a video here called Mistakes Were Made, which, I mean, duh, obviously. So let's see what this guy has to say in this video. People are going to paint their narrative on you based on what they want to believe, especially when it comes to the internet and social media. One thing I want you guys to understand is that when you're dealing with trolls, when, you, when you're dealing with people on the internet who can just leave a comment and just run off to the scurries of their own, you know, hiding spots, is that there's no reconciling with these motherfuckers. There's no getting through to them. There's no, you know, trying to get these people to understand um where you are at at that point in time in your life okay so what i'm gathering so far is that this guy is mad that people did, didn't really understand where his mindset was at during the point in time where he messaged a 13 year old girl to meet up with him look bro i don't care what kind of place you're at mentally i don't care if you were going through depression or whatever the hell you whatever whatever excuse you want to use which by the way i seriously hate it when people use that excuse of oh i was in a dark place that's why i made this huge mistake yeah officer i didn't mean to rob the bank i was just in a bad place like Bro, no one cares if you're in a bad place. You were talking to who you thought was a 13 year old. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about that. There is no way to get out of that. Bro, like we've all been in a dark place before. You've been in a dark place before. I, Glider Guy, have been in a dark place before. We've all had moments where we feel like crap. I'm sure everyone can agree with that. But the difference between me and you, EDP, is when I go through hard times, I don't feel the need to meet up with a 13 year old girl as someone that's pushing 30. Like, come on, there is just no excuses at all for that. You're saying that people aren't willing to hear you out there's nothing to say there's just no excuse for this type of behavior addressing what happened you know you paid the price for it you know now one thing i want you guys to understand you know another thing i want you guys to understand it and of course you know there's going to be those motherfuckers out there oh edp just because you were in a dark place that doesn't justify what you did first off don't try to put fucking words up in my mouth we're not here for that shit um, I'm here to explain to you where I was at in my headspace a few years ago. To be honest, bro, I don't think it really matters what headspace you're in at all. The truth about this situation, right, is that you, EDP445, Bryant Morland, were a nearly 30-year-old man or 30, I don't know exactly how old he is, but he's he's around 30, I know that. At the time, this was April 2021, you got messaged by who you thought was a 13-year-old girl, you met up with that 13-year-old girl because you wanted to, uh, because you wanted to do whatever you wanted to do, then you tried to sit there acting like you were just there to pick up a cupcake and then go back home. Home, which we all know was a lie. Like, bro, what kind of headspace do you have to be in that's so, like, out of your control and so messed up to where you do something like that and it's justifiable? Like, I'm sorry, bro, there is no planet where you can just come back and make a YouTube channel and be like, oh, guys, I've learned from my lesson. That's not how this works, bro. There are, there are a lot of cases where, you know, if you make a mistake, you can come back and, you know, you can sit there and apologize and everyone will forgive you. This is not one of those times, EDP. This is just not it. People like Dr. Disrespect 
Specs, people like Mini Lad, people like Cody Co, like all these people, right? They've all tried to make responses, well, at least most of them have, and you know, it never ends well. You just can't come back from something like this. Like, you need to go away for an extremely long time. You need to get help and just leave the internet forever. Like, there is there is no coming back from that. And no one wants you back, so I don't know why you'd come back. The only thing that you can do as a human being when you make a mistake to this magnitude is to take responsibility for your actions, take accountability for your actions, understand that there is an issue, right? Understand that this is not normal. You know what I mean? To have these type of behaviors, they are not normal, right? Get the necessary help, whether it's talking to a psychiatrist, talking to a therapist, um, you know, it could even be it could even be as simple as talking down to your I'm sorry, sitting down and talking to your family members and overall just trying to make sure that the same mistake doesn't happen again. I mean, yeah, that's definitely all you can do, EDP. I do agree with that. Look, all great points that this guy's making, but I mean, at the end of the day, bro, you did make the same mistake again. Didn't you also get caught by Gideon a few months ago? Like, I mean, this is not something that has only happened once and, you know, it's a one and done thing. Oh, yeah, I just made a simple mistake and guys, you know, I'm going to apologize to everyone. It'll make it better. You've done this multiple times. You've continued to do it after after the first initial time where you got called out. This is a never-ending cycle, EDP. I don't care how much help you think you want to get and all this sort of stuff. No one wants you back on the internet and you shouldn't be back on the internet. You are a danger to society. You're a danger to our children, bro. Like, I, I don't know, like, is that is that controversial to say? Because it really shouldn't be. This guy's sitting here saying, oh yeah, all you can do is take accountability. I mean, bro, you are a lost cause at this point. Like, there is no amount of accountability that can take back what you've done. Not only just the fact that you did what you did, which was try to meet up with the 13 year old but the fact that for the for the past three years you've made the worst response videos ever you've sat there calling everyone haters and saying oh yeah i didn't do anything wrong i just got set up blah 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 this is the first time where you've actually shown any sort of remorse whatsoever for what you've done i swear i cannot find a video from before this point right here where edp's actually been remorseful it's just been him trying to come back to the internet you know spewing a bunch of crap saying that oh, oh everyone's hating on him and that all the haters are jealous like i don't know why any any one would be, would be jealous of being an EDP situation. But yeah, bro, there's really nothing you can do at this point. Um, what I want you guys to realize is the fact that I have sat down and I have apologized to my family, right? I've apologized to my diehard friends. And when I say diehard friends, I mean my friends who I, I openly admit I forgot about because I was surrounded by so many clout chasing motherfucking people who only really cared about me based on my internet and social media status. You feel me? I'm not going to mention their name. I'm not going to put them out there like that. You guys know exactly who you are. Sat down with them, apologized to them, heartfelt apology. You know what I mean? And we made amends, we talked about it, and we move the fuck on. That's all you can do. Yeah, look, bro, you can move on with your family and friends and all that sort of stuff, but the internet never forgets, buddy. And I mean, normally if someone admits they're wrong, right, and sits there saying that they're so sorry and whatever, I normally do forgive them. Don't think that I'm just, don't think I'm one of those people that when someone makes an apology video, I still sit there and say, oh yeah, I don't care, like, we're never gonna forgive you. But for a situation like this, right, where someone has been talking to minors, th th this is just a thin line that, you know, you don't cross over. And if you do cross over, there is there is really no forgiving, I guess. Well, there's no forgetting, definitely. I mean, if someone makes a video and, you know, that they might, like, be a little bit too aggro in it and, you know, they make an apology video, it's whatever. Like, there are mistakes people make all the time. If someone accidentally ghosts someone, like, like you know, when they shouldn't, if a YouTuber does something that they shouldn't, you know, normally you can sit back when they make an apology video and say, okay, well, I forgive you. But for EDP, um, it's a little bit different, like I just said. Like, if it's some silly internet topic that no one cares about, then it's fine. But I mean, EDP, bro, this wasn't some silly mistake we're talking about here. You literally talk to minors, multiple of them, for many years in a row. Like, this is not a one-off thing. This isn't something where it was a mistake. You've done it multiple times. You have a track record of doing this. There's just no saving you, bro. There is no saving him. So, there are literally 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds, you know what I mean, DMing me, hitting me up on Instagram, and they'll fucking type this message and they'll be all like, oh my God, are you the real EDP? And the moment I respond with, yes, I am. What they'll do, right? And they think that they're fucking sneaky about this shit, right? Um, malicious intent. You feel me? I made a video a long time ago. And it was a video where I talked about, obviously, adults should be held accountable. And they should be, um, they should get in trouble for messaging minors and engaging in those type of conversations in that particular way, right? Yep, obviously. Meaning you should be in jail. But go on, Brian. I also feel... Oh, no. Minors should get in trouble for messaging adults. You feel me? Um, what? Bro, you've gotta be joking me. There is no way I just heard EDP445 Brian Morland say what I heard he just said. There is just no way that that is an actual statement. You're saying that if a minor messages an adult, that the kid should be held responsible. Now look, I'm gonna talk about this for a second, but I'd, like, I'm pretty sure in the court of law that if a minor messages an adult first and then the adult uh, engages or whatever, apparently that the case gets thrown out because, you know, the minor messages the adult first. But bro, I'm sorry, from a moral standpoint, like, there are reasons that, that when a kid commits a crime, the punishment is less, right? There are reasons that when an adult commits a crime, that the punishment is normal, and, you know, if a kid does the same thing, that they get less time. Let's say, for example, a bank robbery. You know, if an adult robs a bank, and let's say they get 10 years in jail, if a kid does the same thing, he'll probably get, like, a year in juvenile prison, or wh whatever the kid version of that is. Whatever it is, the sentence is gonna be less. And you know what the reason for that is, Edie? I don't know why I've got to spell this out to you, but it's because the kid's brain isn't developed yet. Kids' brains aren't fully developed, so a 15, well, wait, in this case, 13-year-old, obviously they know right from wrong, but they don't know enough about the world as someone like you who is 30 years old. That's why we have the age of consent. That's why someone under the age of 18 is considered a minor. Because when you're over the age of 18, you know, the, the, the state decides that you are, you are mature enough to go about the world as an adult. When you're 13, you're not mature enough to make those decisions yet. So if you get messaged by a 13 year old and they start, you know, m talking to you weirdly and all that sort of stuff, you gotta understand that you are in a position of power, EDP. You are 29 years old, so you as the mature adult should take the responsibility to de-escalate the situation and not take it further. But unfortunately, you didn't do that. Which is why your channel got terminated, which is why I'm making this video today, which is why you have to apologize. So yeah, at the end of the day, um, apology not accepted, EDP still an idiot and should be terminated off YouTube. Anyways, I'm done with EDP. Again, join my Discord server, link in the description. Click the video on screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it and I'll see you all over there. Subscribe.